Okay, welcome back. In this uh, session, we're going to be learning how to do the profile operation for the next step. Okay, so the next step over here is to machine this surface. And then we're going to learn how to duplicate that by machining the surface as well. So good to get started on that. Come over here under operations and right click, click on add milling and profile. Okay, you're going to come over here under new, click on that. And then come down under geometry edit all the way down until you see the multi-chain. Now what this is going to allow us to do is select a profile or a surface and then what, what it will do is it will select all the edges around that surface. So if you look at this part and you think about it, we need to select the edges around here because we're going to be machining down and around this block or this top surface. So what we want to do is we want to click on add and then what we want to do is make sure mode is select and then type is edges. What this will allow us to do is if we select over here this surface, okay, and click on OK, you're going to see that this outer edge is selected. So it selects this chain for you on its own. It's a very nice feature that will save you from selecting every single edge or having to select the beginning of a chain and the end of the chain like we've learned in our previous exercise. So that selects your entire chain for you. And we know now that the tool is going to be going around this surface. So next, let's click on OK. And let's go to Tool. Let's select our tool. Now for this one, we're going to be using a 1-inch end mill. Now I already have that selected as part of my tools. Make sure the diameter of that tool is 1 inch. And then click on Select. Now I'm not going to be going over and placing a holder for this exercise because we've learned that in our previous exercise. Remember every um, operation, every uh, machine, um, I don't know what tools you have. I have no idea what holders you may have and it's going to vary for uh, every different person. So uh, I showed you guys how to do that one time and from then on it's up to you to set up the correct holder for your correct tool. Now click on select and then come over here under level. And let's select the profile depth. So click on the profile depth. Now remember, we've already selected the chain, so we know that our tool is going to be going around this surface. Now we want to select the depth of that. Now come over here and select the next block down. So that goes to negative 0.35. And then click on OK. OK, so now I know it's going to be going from the top surface of my part all the way down 0.35 inches. That's how deep it's going to be machining. Let's go over here to technology and let's click on modify for the tool side. Let's click on geometry. Now, this is a good habit that I've learned to do in solid cam is that go to geometry and make sure that, that your tool is in the correct side. So as you can see, my tool is in the wrong side. So I want to make sure that it's on the right side, which is the outer side of the chain and then click on OK. Otherwise, it will machine into your part instead of outside. And then click on OK. Now come over here under rough. And I want to make set up my roughing to be 100 thou every step. So every time it goes down, it's going to go down 100 thou at a time. It's going to have a one finish pass. And the step down, I'm going to set that as 0.25. Okay, so it's going to do a quarter of an inch at a time down. For your offset, now I always like to leave about 5 thou on the floor and on the wall. Okay, that's what the always use this graphical interface on the bottom left because it will tell you what these options are. So for the wall offset, make sure it's 5,000. For the floor offset, make sure it's 0 0.005 as well. I leave 0 0.005 for both the wall and the floor to be finished with the last step. Okay, under clear offset over here, I want to set that as 0.25. And then for the step over, I also want to step that as 0.25. So this will allow my tool to step over after it's machining one side um, for an offset of 0.25. And each step over is going to be 0.25 as well. Once I have that uh, selected, come over here under link. And let's go under lead in tangent. And let's select half an inch for the length. Okay. So my tool is about one inches, one inch in the diameter. I would like to set up my length to be about half of that. And of course, for the lead out, select same as lead in. So it's going to lead out half an inch, which is the 
diameter of the tool, half the diameter of the tool, and it will lead in that same length as well. Once you have that selected, come over here and click on Save and Calculate. Now let's go to Simulate. Okay, so I'm going to make that slow and then click on Play. And you're going to see your tool come in. It's going to do your first pass. Every single one is 0.1 at a time. And your last pass is 0 0.005, 5 thou. And then it will finish your wall also as 0 0.05 as well. So there you go. That looks good. I can rotate it if I want to. Now to double check that, there's a nice feature called the measure feature, which I will teach you right now. So come over here and click the measure. It's going to say the first point. Let's click on that top surface. And then the second point, let's click on the bottom surface. Now, I'm not interested in the X and Y because I'm only interested in the, the distance between the top surface and the bottom surface. Now, I've modeled the part and I know that it is 0.25 in depth. So all I'm looking for is to make sure that delta Z says 0.25. That's a good way to make sure that your uh, machining that you assigned did the correct job. You know, sometimes we may uh, check an option that we're not aware of and it might machine a little bit less or may we may not do a finish pass and it might machine 0.245, for example, without that 5 thou pass. So we want to make sure that it machined what we intended it to machine. Once you have that done, click on the X, click on the X and simulate, okay, and then save and then exit. And this concludes our session for the uh, profile operation and exercise number two.